Today, President Joe Biden is pardoning two turkeys as part of an annual tradition ahead of Thanksgiving. And Marie has a look at how turkey became such a big part of the holiday. Right. There's lots of great things to eat, but the turkey is the main event, right? So let's talk For turkey. Most of it, let's talk turkey. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> its spot on the table comes actually from a famous American author and her very popular book, Northwood. Her name is Sarah Josepha Hale, and she described a traditional Thanksgiving meal that included a roast turkey. For decades, she advocated for an annual Thanksgiving until President Abraham Lincoln made it official, an official holiday in 1863. But there were also some pretty practical reasons as to why a turkey was chosen. Uh, it was an incredibly plentiful bird. It was easy to kill. A scientist estimate there were about 10 million of them in pre-colonized America. And you could also feed an entire large family with just one turkey, which wasn't the case for other birds. Additionally, turkeys could not be used for other things like the equally plentiful cows and chickens. And America is also not the only country to celebrate the holiday. Let's take a look at that. Uh, multiple countries across the globe celebrate their own Thanksgiving Day. Others celebrate an annual Harvest Day with similar at attributes to our Thanksgiving celebrations. And one of the countries that's been celebrating Thanksgiving even longer than America is Canada, which I also celebrate. Except Can the, Canadian, uh, the Canadian Thanksgiving, as everyone here will already know, happens a month earlier. It happens in October. And when I say they've been celebrating longer, and this is my beautiful family, nice. it's really so the first Thanksgiving kind of on record was much earlier than uh, the American Thanksgiving. But both Thanksgiving went through a very long journey until they became official holidays in, in both countries. But yeah, that's my family. We're doing the little prayer that we always do Aww. of thanks, of being thankful. Um, yeah. And so, it, so um, in the Canadian Thanksgiving, I mean, is it, do you wrap it up in the sort of the mythology that we in the United States like to believe, which people now know is problematic for a number of reasons, including I the mean, treatment yes of Indigenous no. people in it's this country? It's more like the overall theme. Right. Um, and it's more focused on family and being thankful for the good things in your life. We don't dig so much into the roots. And the original story is actually sort of a meal that was about being thankful for a long journey from the old world to the new world, a, a particular voyage. So it's not as um, it doesn't fit as neatly into a box in Canada. Um, so, but it's all the same stuff, yeah. you know? We've got turkey, we've got stuffing, because my family's Jamaican, we've got some curry goat in there as well, yeah. and all the stuff that you love. Yeah, I love that. That's what we do too. We, we do have turkey, but then we have all the traditional foods that come from, you know, my, my, my wife is Chinese American, yeah. you know, my mother is Haitian, and so, you know, that's part of the mix. Um, right. We're not allowed to bring anything. My mother is probably the only woman in America who says, like, don't bring anything to the table. Really? And we're always, like, struggling with that because you want to, like, <laughs> take a little bit. But she, I think she feels like anything that you bring will compete with all right. of her cooking. Right. So, like, if I bring a pie or something, she's like, oh, lovely. Uh. Um, we'll wrap that up for you to take home later. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, no, no. We bought it to eat here. But she doesn't right. want you to take away from all her stuff. I can stuff, understand so. that because for some people, you know, especially whoever's in charge of the dinner, like, this is... A it's like their Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, completely. For us, it's always the opposite. Everyone brings something, and then every year we complain that we have too much food. Yeah. And why? <laughs> and this is such a problem. And why did you have to cook six things? And you know, it's a good problem to have. It is.